distinguished colleagues, distinguished board. It's known uh, that non-operated group of NSCLC of the third stage, it's 3B, according to the TNM-8. Uh, everything is re reflected of conservative therapy and recommendations. According to the meta-analysis, and all recommendations are based on this meta-analysis, uh, chemo and radiotherapy uh, gives advantages in survival. As to the functional status of a patient, a key point that will define the following management of a patient in a functional status before one, we use uh, together chemo and, uh, and radiotherapy. In status two, we do consider executive chemo and radiotherapy. Uh, the overall evaluation of uh, effectiveness, availability, and evidence-based results, data, they are uh, simulated in the American standards. The optimal region, paclitaxel, carboplactin, uh, together, every day. Uh, the advantages of uh, the dual chemo and radiotherapy in the three stage it's uh, the study that is a trial that is well known the suggestion was made that in the group of platinum therapy and hyperfractionation the treatment will be more effective the survival rate I turned out to be a high in patients who received uh, chemo and radiotherapy together, but not a hypofractionation, hypo but conventional. Uh, this radio chemotherapy has become a cool gold standards in patients of the three, third stage, we should refer to the trial uh, where the chemo and radiotherapy was conducted before surgery. Uh, uh, the pathomethological uh, response of the mediastin lymph nodes and the response of tumor was evaluated. Preoperative chemo radiotherapy improved the pathomethological response, but it didn't improve uh, so disease free and long last survival. Belgianos authors they reported the results in old of old patients. The majority of authors said that they acute toxicity more than the third degree hematological esophageal uh, were frequently seen in the group of uh, uh, radiochemotherapy, but it was manageable. Uh, this uh, simultaneous therapy is to be given offered to the patient with this uh, advancement of the tumor after the geriatric evaluation. Uh, how to do simultaneously or consecutively. What to choose? If, for example, we are dealing with ECOG 1 or 2, borderline condition, the meta-analysis of the 2010 uh, 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 was made on the randomized uh, trials for patients who received uh, radiotherapy uh, with a combination of consecutive or simultaneous chemotherapy. Uh, the consecutive chemotherapy before or after radiotherapy Radiotherapy and simultaneous only uh, with radiotherapy. In this meta-analysis, were included uh, protocols that were finished up to uh, 2003 to have uh, um, sufficient time control. The overall survival and progression-free survival was made uh, was based on six uh, trials, 1,200 patients. Each trial demonstrated uh, the three or five survival rate incre increase uh, in simultaneous mode compared to consecutive. Uh, simultaneous chemo and radiotherapy uh, give a better effect in regional uh, lymph nodes, but there was no difference between two treatments as to the 
a long-term relapse. In 2017, meta-analysis was published. Uh, toxicity and survival was evaluated, were evaluated, but in the induction, chemotherapy uh, was uh, evaluated with the concurrent uh, chemotherapy or versus concurrent chemotherapy plus consolid uh, therapy. Five uh, randomized studies, three-phase uh, retrospective trial uh, 3.5 time of uh, following up. Two studies use carboplactin and paclitaxel. Uh, conformant uh, radiotherapy was used uh, in the dose of 60-66th grade. The overall survivor, the first group, no difference but a positive tendency in favor of inducible uh, induc uh, induction therapy. Uh, there were no statistical difference in other groups. So the final results showed that chemotherapy before and after simultaneous therapy turned out to be effective. Both approaches, uh, they had comparable toxicity. Leukemia of the th third degree was seen in consolidated chemotherapy rather, uh, 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 rather than conduction therapy, chemotherapy. To prevent pulmonary and esophageal toxicity, the authors suggested to use current radiation technologies and less toxic regimens of chemotherapy. What kind of regimen of chemotherapy to choose? In the th third phase, the trial proclaimed uh, concurrent uh, the chemotherapy with uh, against chemo and uh, radiotherapy. In overall, one, two, three survival, statistical results were not found in comparable groups. The control over disease was higher in the group A, but it was a surrogate. It wasn't a final at end point. Population studied. What happens with patients in the hospitals? Uh, outside of clinical trials. Uh, the group of a team of horses of, from Stanford, uh, they compared chemotherapy uh, without consolidation with the full-in consolidation. Uh, there was induction chemotherapy, consecutive uh, uh, pure uh, chemo, pure radiotherapy, uh, the most uh, widely spread regimens, carboplactin, paclitaxel, and carboplactin uh, docetaxel. Uh, IMRT or conform radiotherapy was may, was used. We can see how what changes happened during uh, the whole time of following up. Paclitaxel carboplaxin regimen uh, was the best. It's still the leading regimen that is used. Uh, the number of uh, consecutive chemoradiotherapy reduced from 14 percent to 3, and uh, concurrent or concurrent consolidation grew up to 45%. The survival turned out to be the same. Uh, the, the patients who received cisplatin in chemoradiotherapy, uh, they were not administered additional chemotherapy. But for patients who received, received carboplatin, consolidation includes uh, uh, gives uh, the better survival rate. Uh, the medium follow-up, 29 months, and the overall survival median. And the mean of overall survival was 21 months versus 18 months. And the uh, median of cancer-specific survival was 23 months with simultaneous consolidation and 19 at independent. At multi-factor analysis, 
of simultaneous consolidation, it was uh, uh, associated with better uh, survival. And uh, the study, which was presented earlier, uh, had some limitations. Uh, they required uh, reporting. It was difficult to keep track of criteria of selection for certain regimen and modalities of therapy selected by the doctors. Next uh, trial is interesting that patients uh, with a big uh, volume of tumor went through induction chemotherapy and authors have said the contribution of induction chemotherapy in the survival of patients with uh, uh, T3 or 4 Patients with a large size of primary size received induction uh, chemotherapy and then chemo radiotherapy. The groups were quite homogeneous in terms of age and uh, sex. Uh, uh, the effect was based on CT six uh, uh, weeks after completion, and uh, uh, but they were not presented for publication. They assessed relapse uh, free in minutes free survival patient who went through induction chemotherapy uh, uh, simultaneous chemo radiotherapy demonstrated longer survival rate versus patients who went through conform radiotherapy as far as the goal of each therapy besides effect is preventing or reduction of negative manifestations the issue of a big volume of radiation at aggressive treatment such as chemo radiotherapy is at place traditionally patients with uh, local advancement uh, the uh, target is lymph outflow uh, lymph nodes and mediastinal uh, area, but this uh, variant limits escalation of dose because of toxicity and uh, smaller doses uh, result in situation when we cannot fully control uh, uh, local, uh, we cannot exercise uh, full local control. It requires another method of radiotherapy which implies clinically involved lymph nodes and now NCCN recommendations offer to consider it for use. Comparison of these two methods uh, was shown in meta-analysis. Chinese authors uh, um, included uh, the three randomized cohort trials. The goal of meta-analysis in case of regional failures were defined as any lesion or lymph node in the area of prophylactic radiation or certain region which was not uh, uh, primarily included. Uh, analysis showed the absence of significant difference between two methods. Nevertheless, recommendations the volume of radiation is shown in, in them and it is explained by the fact that the methods of radiotherapy uh, get improved. PET-CT uh, facilitates improvement of uh, the volume uh, of radiation. Chemoradiotherapy can control local process and uh, uh, prophylactic doses uh, given to lymph nodes at isolated radiation of lymph nodes uh, can be uh, just enough for this preventive radiation. A number of prospective uh, trials and new approaches to local and systemic control is piloted in clinical trials aimed at improving survival rate. Now there are reports about new uh, radiotherapy equipment. Uh, this is biologically controlled uh, 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 therapy when PET uh, CT are used and the dose of radiation is given only to specific volumes. As far as uh, we have a chance to perform weighted uh, uh, treatment, 
we have to uh, well, look and consider all the risks for each specific patient. So far, we are looking at the achievements, trying to draw the future, the, pers the pers perspective. Thank you, Olga Vladimirovna. Any questions? No questions. Yeah, may I? A short question, quite provocative, but with good feeling. What's your attitude? Now we know that the dose, the recommended dose, shouldn't be more than 66 gray fractionation mode is classical chemo radiotherapy. In your opinion, as to the future, is there a place for hyperfractionation uh, mode? Uh, on the other hand, or, uh, localized dose escalation. Probably there is future. I didn't look whether such trials are being conducted uh, about hyperfractionation dose escalation, but everything will depend on initial volume and uh, predicted toxicity in the lungs and esophagus have to be considered. Now, having a cross uh, uh, V20 volumes, uh, if it is a uh, dose escalation, and we have to understand that in our clinical trials, we take only verified lymph nodes, metastatic lymph nodes into the volume. And this volume uh, doesn't allow to perform. Well, we have to think well enough to escalate the dose. Um, well, another question. Don't you think that it's time we differentiated effects uh, from our programs of treatment for adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma, trying to find differences in the effects. Yes, while preparing for the presentation, I, I was thinking, uh, so it's very seldom that uh, they distinguish between uh, uh, the biology is different, the responses can be different, but here they level off each other. Unfortunately, there are not many trials on this subject. As to different biologies of tumor, as to therapy and doses, there are no drastic differences. We, we identify uh, small cell and non small cell uh, uh, cancer. Recent trials shown that in adjuvant mode uh, and use of up increases survival at uh, non small cell lung cancer. So, hyperfractionation, uh, you know, such trial as CHART. Where uh, there was great success, it's not always used because there are problems with transportation of patient has to be ready twice, but hyperfractionation mode is gaining momentum and it will find its place. The authors of chat are not using these technologies uh, often in their case, but if efficacy was shown.